Well, good evening everyone. Hello and welcome to the July livestream. Right, July. We didn't have one in June because, as I said, I was in, um, in America, in, in North America and in the US for two weeks. And in June, something I had planned for, uh, yeah, about two years, I think. Um, and it was a really cool, really great experience. I'm really uh, happy to have been there. And this is why I didn't have a live stream last uh, month. But yeah, uh, another live stream. Today we're going about rigging this dear flamingo that I created last weekend. I think so. I think it's a week old. And yeah, today we're gonna rig this, which means we are going to give it a bone structure, animate this so it's actually moving. Step one, we have we have a basic model here and we are going to need to give this a basic first bone, which we basically do by yeah, object rigging, convert prop to figure. We want general weight mapping in this case. Um, we don't want to inherit any skeleton from the parent. The root bone name will be Torso. By the way, I will explain first. I have. Oh yeah, um, I built this from the side uh, in the side view. So uh, this is the normal uh, pose that is in. This is like like ninety degrees angled. Um, I would say I have no idea how a flamingo skeleton actually works, so this will just be me trying to do this. I'm sorry for the ping on the uh, phone. I will just uh, get it and get it and uh, turn this quiet. Well, who would who would have known? Uh, actually, someone is live on my channel. Huh? Um, good to know. I think. Okay, so yeah, our figure flamingo has uh, has one bone, which is the torso bone, and we're going to set that up correctly before we go on. Um, plan is to give it a um, head and neck, to give it kind of a back, to give it wings, and to give it um, legs. By the way. We're going to start with the actual with the with the water soundtrack in this case from Lots of Magic because, um, yeah, this is a Lots of Magic thing. Uh, so the soundtrack is actually really, really, really uh, good for this. Okay, so tool settings. We are going for the joint editor tool, and for parameters display, we are wait. Uh, I want to have the flamingo. I want to have the bones on so I can actually see them all at all times. So this is the torso bone. We are going to have the start over here, right around under the wings. And the back around here. Actually, I think I'm gonna do this so I can actually uh, see this is what I expected to happen. Um, so I can give it actually some shoulders, even though I don't really, really, really need them. I will give it some shoulders so I have a little bit more leeway. Some parts. Okay. So this is the first bone. You can see this is not aligned. Um, it's just. Like, like it was before. This is the strut, this is the end, so we can just align all bones. And now this is how we actually have set it up. You have to do this sometimes because this doesn't always update the bones how they are. And as you might notice, I'm starting a bit out of sync. I could first um, set up the face groups and then 
to the bone structure, then, um, yeah, do all this. So, uh, the first thing I had to do is just, in, in translating this, set up this, uh, this first bone. And now, because, because I had to, yeah, transform this, rig this to convert the prop to a figure, so now that I've done this, I can actually go to the Geometry Editor tool and we are going to create a... I'm sorry, I need to make the music a little bit quieter as usual. I think this is something we always do in the first few uh, uh, first few minutes. But yeah. Um, okay. We've set up the bone, the first bone, the, the initial bone, and now we are going to screw around, apparently. Now we are going to set this up properly and make... Uh, oh, and create a... Uh, create a full on uh, model. Okay, I've thrown everything in this one face group because I have trouble actually grass grabbing just the torso from this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically slice off pieces of this um, for the rest and then we will uh, have this leftover as the torso. Um, yeah. Let's see, I think... Actually, having two bones for the, um, for the back is... Quite alright. So, tail one. I can see that this is already getting smaller. I'm sorry, I'm just so used to working in Hexagon where right click is, is se selection, is, is mass selection that I'm doing this all the time. Create phrase group selected. Tail 2. So as you know, if you use Hexagon, the problem is that you actually, that the right click is actually selecting multiple uh, items and in this case, right click just opens the menu and I need the uh, left click for anything else. Okay, we've divided the tail into two pieces. Uh, hello uh, and welcome to the stream, viewer. Nice to have you here. Um, in case uh, you're interested, I'm working on this uh, here flamingo model that I made. And today I'm going to give it bones and structure. So I can animate it later on if I ever want to. Okay, this looks kind of good. Okay, we're holding control. Okay, let's see. Uh This is actually, f this is fine, okay. So we have this and we are... Okay, I'm going to need to go behind this. This is the left leg, okay. So create face group from selected. Uh, left thigh. I don't know if it's called thigh or the bird, but... Uh, I know what I'm doing, so this is fine. Uh, I know I know what I'm referring to. I have no idea what I'm doing, uh, but I know what I'm referring to. Okay. Let's see. We are grabbing this. Great face to chrome selected. Left shin. Again, I don't know if birds have shins, but this is fine. Okay, I'm gonna make this invisible. I'm going to grab 
all of this. Question is, do I want to actually separate the claws? I know that when I did the harpy um, legs, the, those are the harpy legs just in um, change form. I, I did, but I think for this, I actually, you know, actually, I actually, I want to at least partially. So this is going to create face group from selected left foot, except. And we are going to grab a few. We're grabbing the, the talents. I think it's talents. Um, and I held the wrong button. That is on me. This is also another thing like, like, Okay. Okay, and this is actually what I wanted. Selected left talents. Uh, what I want is the option to actually um, like um, bend the talents uh, in case I actually make a running animation. So. Yeah, and I'm not sure I actually do the doing this because I would have to basically give this like a saddle or something, which would either mean remodeling or having this follow this, and um, I'm not sure about either. But yeah, okay, we have the left foot and the left talons. Okay, time to do the right side. If you can make custom rig and use it in Cascadeur, I will be very happy. I'm sorry, I have no idea what a Cascadeur is. Um, is it is it a program? Is it um, is it is it an, an app? Is it something else? I have no idea. Um, also, welcome to the stream. Um, what I can show you is how to make a custom rig in Death Studio. I can show you how to export that as an FBX. And I'm pretty sure most um, most software allows for an import of SBX. So I think um, if you want to use it somewhere else, you might ha be, uh, be able to do this there. So yeah, I can show you how to do it in Death Studio. And if you can export this as an FBX or if Cascader can import um, FBX, then you should be fine. Um, okay. Anyway, we're at the right thigh. Bird thighs. I think I'm, I'm onto something here. Okay. Trace group. Right. Um, right. Shin. I can't type. I'm sorry. Okay, um, we're going to make this invisible, and this is the right, right foot. And we're going to grab the talents again, like this. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, Right, talents. Except, okay. Um, wait, uh, I should probably not <laughs> make this visible. So what I what I currently did is I, I basically had uh, separated the the legs and the tail. I don't know if it's called tail with a bird, but the tail um, to. Yeah, make this in a thing. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, selected. 
Nick Low. Uh, where is it? There it is. Let's give it three. Neck mid. Again, I have no idea how this actually works in, in nature. Um, I have no idea how these uh, birds actually like work physically in nature, so I will probably have something wrong. Okay. By the way, if you have some error like this, I can show you how to fix that. Uh, neck top. Accept. Okay. We're going to make this invisible for now. We're going to grab all this, make it the head. Going to subdivide this later. And now we are going to... Go into the drag selection, select just these. This is the two we want to move over to the head. Click on the head. And if you can see, you can see now that the head is selected, but it doesn't, if, if I grab something in the geometry selector tool, it doesn't deselect whatever I have selected in the viewport. Right click, assign selected faces to groups. And now the head and the neck are divided as I want them to. Okay, now comes the fun part. Because I want to actually be able to open this bird's beak. This is, by the way, why I designed the bird, why, why I made the model as I wanted it two uh, as I did so that I could actually open this and this is this is the one thing that would probably consume the most time today but if I actually manage to to or yeah when I am done with separating these parts and doing a or making the the uh, big uh, openable this will be very cool okay where it is big low we're going to make this invisible I can see that I'm already getting quieter because it takes some concentration. Luckily, if you if you miss select something, you can just hit Control Z, and it yeah unselects it. I might have a slight problem because I have no idea how I actually get the inside of the beak select, uh, selected. Might have not thought this through when I made it, but we'll see. Okay, we're going to add these to the lower beak. So this is all the upper beak. I'm going to add this to the head. Uh, assign to Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I have no idea how to actually grab the inside of the beak. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can see that the inside of the beak is uh, basically unselected, which I hadn't thought about before. Well, um, I'll have to probably uh, fix that later. Okay. Let's do the wings. Uh, da, 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 da. Select and type marquee. We are going to grab this part of the wing. We're going to add a bit more to it. This actually looks kind of okay. If I don't select it, wing inner left. Sorry, I sometimes have to just check which is the left and the right side. Um, don't hold it against me. Wing outer left and I know I'm being a bit inconsistent with the labeling here with the style with the underscores and no underscores and spaces and no spaces but I don't think it's actually that big of a problem Okay. So we'll select that ring inner right. It is not going to be a problem simply because when I later on do you when I later select the face groups and set them to the bones you will not see them if, if you just use the model you would not see it you will only see the bones so I just need to be consistent consistent with naming the bones and not the face groups I could I could give I could call the face groups whatever I want I just need to make sure that I know what I am uh, what I have here Okay, this is wing outer right, except I'm going to make this invisible and we only have the torso left. Who wants chicken? We got chicken. Okay, we're going to relabel this at tors as torso. Which he then moves down, okay. We're going to make everything visible. And now that we've done all the face groups, uh, please don't remember me, remember about the beak. We will hopefully fix that later. We can go on back to the joint editor and create more bones let's start with the actually let's start with the head okay we're back in the joint editor right mouse click opens the menu create create child bone bone name will be lower neck in this case i need to be consistent so lower neck middle neck upper neck Okay, selection mode. We are going to grab the neck low. Now we can actually see where this connects. 
and we can slowly move the points of origin and the point of ending over to the actual end of the bone for the torso we can just move this over here so it fits right click create so select the next bone the one that you just created right click create create child bone middle neck I mean even this is not that important because you actually should be able to just or will be able to just click on the bone later when you have rigged everything and then you can just manipulate with the position piece so you don't really need to remember how the bones are or how the bones are labeled but it makes it so much easier if you want to give the model to someone else or if you want to use it for something specific upper neck also excuse me for a single second Give me a single second to react to something uh, so we don't get messages all the time. Yeah, what I have to do is basically open Steam and exit Steam, sadly, even though that is my only connection to some of my friends that I really hate not being able to talk to but it would just pop up messages on the corner all the time which is probably not what they would want so we're not going to do that anyway let's get back to this upper neck next follows is the head of the creature we are going to give it the head bone and we're actually going to uh, come line it like this that is not perfect but it's good enough and the next child bone is called the lower beak Except be glow, be glow, sweet flamingo. Okay, so far so catastrophic. Align all bones. This is how the structure currently looks. It's not perfect, but it works. I could probably make this uh, the third the second and the third leg a bit longer but we're going to leave it at that for now just for the training purposes because we don't need to make this more complex than it needs to be okay step three torso since the legs, the tail and the wings will go from the torso, we need to grab back the torso. We are going to yeah, disextend this lower neck right here. And we're going to create a child bone, which is called the right inner wing with correct labeling. By the way, I'm just, whenever I'm going from bone name to bone label, I'm just hitting tab and it jumps over and it basically copy pastes the bone name into the label without me doing anything else. The thing is, it needs a bone name, which is invisible to us, and it needs a bone label, which is basically what we will see here. I can show you in a second. Except. Okay. We will add the. Oh, 
or not maybe wing inner right okay here we go here's the start here's the end of this bone here's the start and here's the end of this bone from another perspective and you see it here right in a wing and we're going to create another child bone which is the right outer wing and we're calling this right wing tip just for the just just to show what I mean so you see that the actual name in the node structure is right wing tip there's a difference between what I what I what I call the node and what the name for the bone actually is this is just important if you do something specific else with a thing in programming or in any other utility that is what you basically need that at, at that point so yeah this is just a slight tip and I think I'll need, I'll actually call them right, uh, left inner wing and left wing tip as well, because then it is more simple or this simpler. Okay. Create child bone left inner wing. We're going to give this the left inner wing face group Whoop. and here we go okay this looks good so far so we're going to keep it create the wing tip left wing tip why like by the way this rotation order just says basically posing what does the x rotate to what does the y rotate to what does the z rotate to basically one of these will bend the wing, one of these will rotate the wing, and one of these will put the wing in front or back. Um, there are these three rotations. And whenever I change the uh, axis, I'm, I'm, do, I'm, I'm creating the same axis that Genesis 2 has, as far as I know, as far as I use it. So yeah, this is just something I do I would say uh, out of reflex you could say it's like like how I remember it okay we're going to align all bones nice little wing bones and we're going forth with the legs so we're going back to the torso and create child bone right leg so you didn't even have to type right wing and left wing nice uh dodged all the political uh stuff i'm so good at this right thigh and if we can type this right so y that x is that the y-axis is bent, the z-axis should be turn, and the x-axis should be front back, which I think I might have to change later on, because the bird is 
turned 90 degrees. So I think I might have to change that later on. But I can always do that in the rotation order. It's fine. I can just change the rotation order here again. So it's not set in stone. It's just something that I have to fix later on. If I want to, I mean, I can just keep it that and just label them later. I can, for example, say, okay, going to posing. Okay, I want to... If I, if I check out and X is basically the left, right, I can just change the label here. Uh, if I say, I can label this sides. And then it changes the label so that I can actually see what happens here. Rotate. X rotate except okay so yeah uh, nothing I do is actually final and the one thing that I can't change it's always kind of reversible kind of fixable but if you try to change the parenting of bones you might run into tiny little problems where your PC crashes because Death, death does not always like you doing that. Okay. Right thigh. Okay. Create child bone. Right shin, I think it is. I labeled it. Except right shin. There we go. See, I may be old, but my memory is still kind of intact. Okay, this looks good. So we're going to create the child bone. Right foot. I'm going to move the end over here. We're going to no at the right foot. And now that we've accidentally changed this, we need to go back to the neck. And the upper neck just lost its face group because I misselected this. This is sometimes uh, this happens. Don't worry about it, you can just click the right one and then you have it selected correctly. Okay. Create child bone. Right talons. Y, Z, X. Accept. And right talons. Closing this up. Right. Hi, and we're going back to the torso. And we have a problem with the with the stream for some reason. Let's see if we can fix that. And we should be back. I think we are back. Okay. I don't know. Weird. But I hope we are back. And I hope we can finish this project here. I know sometimes. I guess I know what happened. I guess the other PC in the household just got onto the internet. Which might be what just happened. Anyway. Back at the torso, left side, create, child bone, left thigh, bird thigh. I'm pretty sure there's a better name for this, and I'm pretty sure I will not uh, look for it. Okay, where's my, there's my bone. Why is it so big? Why? Why, Des, why do you make this bone so goddamn big? There's absolutely no need for you to do this. Okay. 
just your personal egomania. Okay, you need to go down a bit. And this looks good. Create child bone. Left shin. Y that X. You can see that I'm now working from the backside, which is just me preferably working on the left side of the model for some reason for, from the side I perceive as left. I have no idea why I do that, but I do. This is also why you usually when I when I do something in hexagon, I work on the right side of the body, which is my perceived left side of whatever I'm working on. And this is why I'm usually working in the negative side of the of the coordinate system and not in the positive. Do not ask me why, I have no idea. Left foot. Why that X? I'm going to get the left foot. Air. This is not what we wanted. Okay, this is much better. Create child bone. Left talons, Y that X, left talons, you go over there, you go over there, and we are done with the legs. Align all bones. Okay, this is kind of okay. Let's grab the left shin, put it a bit in. Okay, this looks a bit better. And the last two bones left. We're going back to the torso. Create child bone uh, body tail body tail is not really a good label but okay i'm i'm really just not in the mood for tail 1 and tail 2 And you're getting down there. This looks fine. Create child bone. Tail end. Could have changed this to tail mid. Okay, we can do that. Okay, there's only one thing left, right? There is not. Okay, torso gets the torso label to it. Going to change this a tiny bit. Okay. So far, so good. Align all bones. We are okay so far. At least for the most part. Let's grab the lower beak. I think we want to have this originate around here, actually. Yeah. This is probably a bit better for its alignment. Okay. So I'm going to try something that I've seen 
which is we're going to the wait we wanted to change the label of this one we can just click on this and this just changes the label so we're going to this tail mid section and we just change the label of the bone later but the the node is still the originally called Uh, name of the bone so the node refers to the name while the node map thing refers to the label magic technology same thing okay so we are going to grab the node red map brush going to grab everything Weight editing, fill selected by 100%. I have no idea if this works. Fill selected 100%, okay. It does not look like it did. Let's check this out by posing this. Nope, it does not change. And if I rotate... Yeah, okay, so it still rotates everything. So, it doesn't do what I want it to. That is too bad, okay. Yeah, I'm 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 an idiot. Weight editing fill by bone selection group. Step one. Fill selected hundred percent. Okay, now it yeah, now we have what we want. I forgot one important step. Again, weight editing fill by bone selection group. What what this basically does is it grabs the the faces that I set in the face group to this bone and it just says okay if I change this bone if, if I pose this bone then he changes the whole thing with it and now we have a model that is rigged although it is very 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 Am I even live? Yeah, I'm live. Okay. Yeah. So what we have now is is as you can see, let me let me quickly make the bones invisible. <laughs> if I now grab the neck and I now pose the neck by twisting it to the side. You can see it works as intended but it is very very stiff so what i got as a comment under one video and we'll see if we can just like finish this in a few seconds is you should smooth the group weights after fill with 100 percent use factor 30 iteration 60. weight editing smooth f selected okay smooth factor is 30 percent and iteration is 60. And now we'll see if actually something happened. Smooth selected, except. Smooth selected, except. Right, editing smooth selected, except. Now let's see if something changes here. Mm, not really, but well, we basically more or less finished rigging the model. What we can now do is uh, 
basically try to make this more smooth, smooth, smooth. Great word. Thank you. Thank you, dear English, for this word. By drawing this with our handy dandy tool by hand. And what this does is it takes slight influence to the to the next bone or to the next section more or less which help makes the whole thing look less smooth so yeah this is what we are going to do for the rest of this stream more or less we are going to try and make this less rigid and a tiny bit more natural. Basically by painting all these parts where the where the bones meet where the joints are so that they actually look a bit more smooth and I have no idea if this actually works I just hope it does and we're going to do this bone by bone and then we're gonna go and label all the all the relevant bones for the flipping uh, for the posing not for the flipping for the posing my bad and then I will for the one person who asked I will actually try and show how to export this as an FBX And hopefully not show anything inappropriate. But yeah. The fun part of doing 3D animation stuff. Upper neck. Okay. Let's give him a nice bluish color here oh yeah wait we we are have we have to do the whole thing with the with the beak wait no lower beak we want all this area to be blue Okay, posing. Isn't this beautiful? <sighs> Surfaces, no tool settings. Uh, we're going to stay with the note weight map brush. No, we're gonna go to the geometry editor. Selection mode. Dr yeah, drag. Perfect.
Okay. Sign selected faces to groups. Uh, geometry editor. Note with a brush. Weight editing. Fill by bone selection group. Fill selected 100%. Okay, and we are getting somewhere. This is starting to look better. We go back to the... Actually, no, we're going to stay here. We're going to go through the head. Because this is part of the upper jaw as you can see and whoop ah painting this will be fun okay we're going to auto radius to 15 we're going to make this very small And we are getting somewhere, as you can see. This is how we basically fix the lower beak problem of the flamingo. Just uh, finding the right angle is oftentimes a kind of a problem. As you can see, it's not really, it's not that easy. But we are slowly getting there. There's still this, this one piece that is actually part of the head. This one here. Yeah. And yeah, this is this is some of the stuff that takes a really long time. So what what I would suggest to you if you want to do this yourself, one of the one of one of the things that is easy to 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 train with is jewelry because jewelry, especially if you if you have metal jewelry, is very rigid. So if you just do the fill by one selection group and then fill selected by hundred percent, if you just do that, you will have it rather easy. What you also can what I could also probably do is wait fill selected by, let's say, 60%, uh, 70%, and then just fill the center of the of these bones manually. We, we can try that actually later on, if this works better. Right now, this went into the wrong direction. Yeah, it's hard to say if I can actually make uh, make it make it where I want it, or if I can't because these two pieces clip into each other. No, uh, I think we're actually getting somewhere. Yeah, this this doesn't look half bad. Give me a second. It is kind of warm here, so staying hydrated is probably a good idea.
Yeah, this side could be a bit more uh, troublesome because you can see there's a lot of overlap going on here between the upper beak and the lower beak. Well, we'll see how, how we can handle all this. This is, uh, yeah, this is one of the things that just take a lot of time and don't feel very rewarding when you do them. But as soon as you move your model and, and uh, use your model, it feels really good. Yeah, I think I got to work from this side here. But I think I'm actually making it worse for the for the other side currently. It's really hard to say. You can see all these spikes inside the mouth, inside the beak. Which are also kind of hard to handle. You can see that this is lagging. I mean, I'm, I'm not even working online or something and it's lagging. And it's not you, it's just my PC. So this is kind of uh, hardware intense. Well... There's a point where I where I'm thinking about uh, just, you know, I'm saying, okay, you know what, uh, it's fine, we tried. Because it takes a really long time. And you just work really bit by bit. It's like removing a mountain with nothing but a bucket and a wooden shovel. You can do it. But it's less fun than it sounds. It's only fun for like the first uh, few minutes and then it starts getting awful. Yeah, now I'm not even uh, moving anything. I think now I'm actually moving the... Yeah, now I'm moving the wrong side of this. So the question is, can I actually hit the right pieces? Or am I doomed to just... See? It is incredibly hard. Okay, we actually got the right thing. But you can see that, like, at some point I'm just moving the parts from the upper jaw down. So this might actually not really work as intended. It's hard to say. The best would have probably been to model the the beak opened and then move it to a closed position for uh, before I save the the rigging but yeah okay posing okay I told you it would be a short stream today Yeah, okay. So far, so catastrophic. 
What we're going to do next is we're going to take file, save as figure. It's a figure. Uh, flamingo water faith uh, rigged safe it's an actor and we're going to set it as a default figures animals oh boy air land or sea uh, sea um, accept Okay, we forgot something. Okay, we forgot something important. We are going back to the joint editor. Memorize figure rigging. Now he basically just copied how all the uh, how all the bones are set. He or he saved how all the bones are set. He set this as a zero as a, as a nothing new setting so we're going to save this as a figure prop asset flamingo water faith rigged yes set category default figures animals c how he overwrites it okay now we're going to delete this one Figures, animals, C, and we're going to have a load on flamingo. Okay. Uh, universal. Okay. Now we are going to, for example, be a. We can. We are now able to grab, for example, our neck, and you can see that all the uh, all the bones are now movable. And now, if I just like. I mean, it's not, it's not pretty, but but it, it kind of works. We'll, we'll watch is check this out in the... Ah, you can see that this is not pretty. But it kind of moves a little bit weird. Also, one thing that you can do is like like just freely move the bones because they are not... Uh, quickly rigged so what you can do with for example Genesis 2 is just grab the bone and move it oh never mind you can never mind you can absolutely do what I meant to do never mind you can just like grab this and move it and if you grab this and move it you can uh, deduct the or remove the bone from the thing. But yeah, now that we have rigged this, we can just play around with it a bit. And for example, I could make a running animation where it just flaps its wings, which is probably what I'm going to do next weekend. I don't know. Or next week in general at some point. But yeah. Sounds like something I could do. Yeah. So let's check this out in iRay. Uh, filtering. Post noises on. Perfect. Okay. Uh, b -b 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 flamingo. Let's have no bump strings. And. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, I guess. If I pick the right angle, you might not even see how much I screwed up. Uh, yeah, but this is it. This is the rigged figure. And if I, for example, want to change the animation I can just restore figure post which resets to the post that we said uh, he should memorize so this is the memorized post pose I can also save other poses for example I can um, grab 
this and say fi file save as post post preset um which is flamingo running current frame only properties flamingo uh except okay and now i can uh in theory i should have this somewhere but i have no idea where i have no idea but yeah you can even save these as Uh, specific poses you want to do and finally since someone asked earlier for uh, cascadeur I have no idea what cascadeur is I will look it up as soon as I'm done with the stream uh, I can export this uh, yeah this is a fine this is a fine yeah haha why not um, let me just quickly put this off New folder flaming 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 because I have trouble typing. Okay, flamingo running uh, FBX because standard file that everything works with. You also have a lot of other files, so if you want to use have have to want this as a poser file or something you can also do that but i usually use fbx okay selected only including figures including props merge followers uh include animation doesn't have one mm. okay so what he does is he Resets this to the base structure first. To the base. Um, saved. Uh, pose. But yeah. Let me quickly open my 3D viewer. Wait, this is the wrong app. 3D viewer, there we go. Um... And we are going with the exported file, which is here, 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 and here it is, the Flamink. And there we have it. So yeah, you can export this as an FBX in this case. And we have the flamink with all the colors, or most of the colors. I don't know why he doesn't have the colors on the legs, but the others are there. Uh, beautiful. I'm absolutely amazed at my own work. No, I'm not. Yeah. But this is basically it. This is... Um, ah, we rigged this completely. And yeah, if you see a running flamingo in the next few days on this channel then i will then i made the animation i mean i already have kind of ideas what i want to do but i'm not gonna spoil too much so yeah until next time in the week i will do another free form what whatever i want to do uh thing on the weekend i will either do the animation or the next lots of magic characters so we'll see until then, I hope you enjoyed the stream, and I will see you in the next one. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you guys around.